there has been a wide range of global interactions as well on this very subject. Notable among them is the MOU on Semiconductor Supply Chain and Innovation Partnership that was concluded between India and the United States. The leaders of the Quad grouping agreed at the meeting in Hiroshima on principles of critical and emerging technology standards. Japan is another significant partner in this particular domain. Just this month, we concluded a memorandum of cooperation on semiconductor supply chain partnership. A more self-reliant India will ipso facto also be more self-reliant in semiconductor production. Similarly, an India that is seeking to enhance both the quality and quantity of its exports and become more deeply embedded in global value chains will also necessarily focus today on the semiconductor domain. Friends, there has been a wide range of global interactions as well on this very subject. Notable among them is the MOU on Semiconductor Supply Chain and Innovation Partnership that was concluded between India and the United States during Commerce Secretary Raimondo's visit in March 2023 to India. It sought to establish a collaborative mechanism that would represent a productive intersection of America's Chips and Science Act and India's semiconductor mission. During Prime Minister Modi's recent state visit to the United States in June 2023, semiconductors was also the focus of the talks with President Biden and his team. As you would be aware, the two leaders chaired uh, a technology roundtable with the brand names of industry present on that occasion. The joint statement which was issued at the end of the visit highlighted this aspect of our cooperation. Three American companies, Micron Technology, LAM Research and Applied Materials made specific comments that have been the subject, I believe, of your deliberations as well. Now, it is essential that these developments are viewed from a larger perspective of India and the United States, building a technology partnership for the future. India's entry as the latest member of the Mineral Security Partnership is surely worth noting, given the importance today of diversifying and securing supply chains in that area. Similarly, cooperation between the two countries has been a visible tailwind in the sphere of advanced telecommunications. Even as uh, India's 5G rollout unfolds uh, and starts to gather momentum, uh, it is noteworthy to seek Bharat 6G and American NextG Alliance co-lead research. Launching open RAN deployments and participating in the U.S. Rip and Replace program is also something worth noting. This collaboration today extends to new initiatives and additional domains and can be expected to grow steadily in the times to come. We see that, for example, in space, where India signing the Artemis Accords and Promoting stronger ISRO-NASA collaboration is a sign of the uh, times to come. It is visible too in the creation of a joint Indo-US quantum coordination mechan mechanism. The innovation handshake between Indian entities and the National Science Foundation holds much promise. And so does the Indus X innovation bridge in defense technologies. Now, earlier uh, in May 2023, the leaders of the Quad Grouping, the Quad Grouping you are all aware comprises of India, US, Japan and Australia, the leaders of the Quad Grouping agreed at the meeting in Hiroshima on principles of critical and emerging technology standards. This inter alia supported industry-led consensus-based multi-stakeholder approaches. It endorsed technology standards that promote interoperability, competition, inclusiveness, 
and innovation. The intent was to foster technology standards that support safety, security and resilience. These voluntary principles were meant to assist governments and organizations to develop appropriate standards. And it is clearly the Quad's expectation that many other nations would join us in that regard. Japan is another significant partner in this particular domain. And my meeting just this week with uh, Foreign Minister Hayashi affirmed the priority that both of us attach to it. Just this month, we concluded a memorandum of cooperation on semiconductor supply chain partnership. It is expected to promote semiconductor design, manufacturing, equipment research, talent development, and industry resilience. I should also mention our quad the other quad partner, uh, Australia, because of their salience when it comes to raw materials, critical materials, critical minerals, and innovative research. Do note that we have an ongoing critical minerals investment partnership with that country. Now, uh, this is by no means an exhaustive list. Uh, in fact, uh, very frankly, I uh, cited it because these are uh, good uh, examples of an uh, impactful illustration 